Well, when I did the last uh, curtain airbag, not so long ago, I said I was going to film it and I forgot. So uh, this time I'm going to. So on this car, seat belt's gone. Pre-tension is okay, thankfully. So I've got to change that. But this curtain airbag's gone. As you can see, what I've done is I've taken off the sun visor. I've taken off the hand grip rail. I've dropped down the trim that goes around the sunroof. Uh, I've loosened that off. And uh, there you see underneath there, uh, there's a bolt there, a bolt there. There's further bolts up there. I've just got to drop this down a little bit further still. Um, this has to come off to do the seat belt anyway. So I'll take that off in a minute. Uh, that trim there has to come off, that one, to be able to drop down the headlining. This headline is a little bit more damaged than it's been in others. It's not that bad, it just sort of creases a little bit. But once it's all back together, it's, uh, it don't really notice. I've had the same I've done. This is the third or fourth one I've done now. And it's just started raining, great. Um, as you see, I've taken this seat out. There's my legs. I've taken this seat out because the seat airbag had gone, so I'll be replacing that as well. And it's just easier to work with the seat not being there, to be honest, so I've taken it out for now. So right, here we go. So first thing to do is undo these bolts. I think there's about four of those. And then there's a little contraption at the end, which it sort of slots into. Uh, and I'll film that when I get to it. So here we go. So here we go. Three bolts that held it up on these little brackets. One, two, three. And then there was a screw at the end, a torque screw at the end that went in there. And then all it's, it's just hanging by the cable now. So I just need to take the cable out. And then that's it, that's out. As you can see, as I say, this is folded a bit. Once it's all pushed back into position, it'll, um, it'll right itself a little bit. It will still be noticeable, but I've never had a problem with it. It's, it looks okay, it looks fine. So that's where it's held in there. And it's fed down behind here. There's just a bit of it there where someone's cut it there. So obviously the main bulk of the airbag's been cut off just to get it out of the way because obviously it hangs down over the window once it's deployed. So the place that I got it from has obviously done that. So right, we just need to disconnect that wire in and then we can um, start feeding the new one in. So there you can see that's the old one taken out where it's deployed there. You see where the black and white bit is, that's where it's deployed. And that's what it should look like. The white airbag is contained within that black bag. And it's got that bit on the end which secures it in the pillar, in the A pillar. Okay, so now we're gonna install that. Right, it's all back in, all bolted up there, there and there, all connected up behind there. The only one bit that's confused me in the past is on is with this bit. It seems to vary depending on which car it's come off of as to how you fix it on. The one that's already on the car, as you can see, is tucked in that little hole there. Um, that's got sort of a little V on the end, so it pushes in but doesn't pull back out again. Bit bit like the, um, the thing on the front bumper, the tow bar cover. It's got a little bit of plastic, it's a bit like a hook, so it goes in but won't come out. So just under there, you'll see there's a screw hole and on the last car I also had that little brass ring there so I screwed it in it seems to be in the right place so I think it must vary depending on what airbag you get so I'm going to cut that off with a knife let that bit fall inside the car uh, and then um, screw that on I've got some odds and odds and ends in here that I've got from other cars that I've done there's a few screws I'm sure one will fit and uh, then put all the trim back on and then that's done so that's seat out and airbag replaced in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Not a bad start. There you go, all nice and safe and secure. Screwed in there, tucked in the, uh, the things that I have to trim on in place. And that's it, just all the trim needs just to go back on now. As you'll see, one thing that I happened on the previous car that I did, you got these two sponge um, sound deadening, I suppose. And that one there, as it just did on this car, it fell off and I didn't realise on the previous car. When I was driving along after the car was all finished, I could hear this rattling and it was the plastic trim rattling against the, uh, the metal of the post, the A post there. Luckily I remembered this time and that did fall off and it's self diesel on one side so I've just stuck it back on again. So uh, yeah, hope, hopefully uh, I won't lose any more bits of trim that cause noises because that can be very annoying. Anyway, that's the uh, airbag done, just got to put all the trim back together, job done.